so I've just stopped at this place called Barnabas and I've met this gentleman and we're just talking phones, iClouds, iPhone storage and he's got an iPhone. What's your name mate? Dave. Dave, thanks for your help today and I'm now going to go up to Worthing and find me a pound shop and not pay the tourist money kind of prices because there's a shell garage up the road and they want an arm and a leg for that. Dave, thanks for your help mate. No trouble bro. Senex Go Innovation. Do you ever think a ship was making cement or something? Douglas, what's that, Isle of Man? Hey mate, you busy? You busy? Yeah. You Good money in the scrap. Sorry? Good money in the scrap. Oh, yeah, it it's picked up. It's picked up then. Yeah. Ready to go again. Does that ship? Does that ship make cement? Sorry? Does that ship make cement? Ballast. It sucks it up off the Isle of Wight, off the banks. Does it? And what do you do with it? Yeah, it goes up alongside the banks at the Isle of Wight, and then it lowers a big pipe, rides up into the bank, and then starts sucking it. There must be loads and loads of it, like. Oh, they get a lot of munitions, like old shells, armories, because it was a dumping ground down there. Uh, army shells? Yeah, after the Second World War, they dumped these shells and all that down there. So what would I do? What? What would they do with all the shale that they're picking up? They, when they unload down there, they get picked up by a, a metal detector, and it sets the alarms off. It automatically stops the thing, and then the bomb squad turn up and they get it off. Put it in a corner in the yard down, it was sandbag. Does that happen much? And blow it up. Yeah, does that much, does it? Well, yeah, yeah, hell of a lot. Well, well, we did a big job years ago yeah. in uh, Liam in Southampton, and they had a skip there full of them, shell cases, ones that had no nothing in them, you know, no charges. But they get some that have got charges in that the bombs will have to come and sort out. I'll tell you what, you're a wealth of information, you're local, obviously. <laughs> So it's the cement firms that take the shale then, is it, I'd imagine? Sorry? It'd be the cement firms that take the the stones and shale. Yeah. Yeah, it's cement firms. Yeah, that down the road there, they go through a machine that grades them. And you get like pea beach, sand, uh, ballast, and then rejects the big stones. Ah, right. But they know, when they get an order for a cargo, they know what area of the bank to go to. It's all computerised, probably. Well, what's your name, mate? What's your name? Peter. Peter, thank you very much, mate. And uh, check my YouTube out, Comfy Living. You'll be on it tonight. With your wealth of information, mate. It's brilliant. I'm glad I'll talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.